Starting with, we need to give our instance a name. Let's give it something simple like uh, PS AWS Demonstration. Perfect. Jumping down, we need to select our machine image. This is where you'll specify your operating system and other elements. There are a variety of machine images available on the AWS Marketplace, and once you've set up one that you like, you can actually save them as your own. But for this case, we're going to start with Windows Server 2022 Base. Note that if you're using Windows, you will need to specify at least Windows Server 2022 Base. UE5 has components that depend on the more recent versions of Windows, so you won't be able to use Windows Server 2019, for example. So once we're happy with that selection, we can go down here and specify our instance type. The instance type specifies the hardware available to you. For general pixel streaming and testing, I like to use a g4dn.xlarge instance. This instance uses a T4 NVIDIA GPU, and is great for just general UE applications. You can change this depending on your needs, however. Let's move down now to key pair login and security.